Hi students, welcome to Like Gives Academy. In this video, we are discussing about transcription in prokaryote. In our previous video, we already discussed about the basic terms used in transcription. Let's discuss about prokaryotic transcription. Transcription is the process of synthesis of RNA using DNA template strand. Bacterial or prokaryotic transcription occurs in cytoplasm. Unlike eukaryote, prokaryotic transcription and translation occur simultaneously. Prokaryotic transcription unit contains multiple genes. The whole process is regulated enzymatically by the RNA polymerase. In this case, a single RNA polymerase involved. It can synthesize all forms of RNA, that is, rRNA or ribosomal RNA, mRNA, messenger RNA, and tRNA or transfer RNA. comes to structure of RNA polymerase. RNA polymerase is the enzyme that involved in this transcription process. RNA polymerase consists of two forms that is one is hollow enzyme and the other one is core enzyme. Hollow enzyme is the functional form of RNA polymerase. It is a heterohexamer that consists of alpha 2, beta, beta dash, omega, sigma. It is the only form that can initiate transcription from promoter because it can distinguish the promoter site. When it comes to the core enzyme, it represents alpha 2, beta, beta dash, omega. The here sigma factor that is uh, initiation factor is absent. Core enzyme consists of minimum components that carry out transcription. Core enzyme can transcribe from any segment of DNA because they can distinguish between a specific promoter site from any other site because there is no sigma factor. They can produce any functional transcript as they frequently dissociate from the template. It can also melt DNA, so impossible to transcribe from covalently close to circular double-stranded DNA. But a core enzyme can transcribe from single-stranded linear circular DNA and a double-stranded circular DNA with a nick. This is the picture that represents the core enzyme as well as the whole enzyme. The core enzyme consists of alpha 2, beta, beta dash and omega. When the initiation factor sigma binds to the core enzyme, it forms holo enzyme. Holo enzyme is the functional form of RNA polymerase and it binds to the promoter site in DNA where the transcription initiation occurs. In the presence of holo enzyme, the initiation of transcription occurs because the uh, identification of the promoter occurs with the help of sigma factor. Let's discuss about the details of RNA polymerase. Components of RNA polymerase. First component is alpha. Alpha found in the surface of core enzyme. They have no accessibility to active site of the enzyme. Alpha can increase the accessibility of core enzyme by facilitating interaction between alpha 1 and alpha 2 and alpha and beta. There is two forms of alpha, one alpha 1 and the other one is alpha 2. The carboxy terminal domain of alpha can interact with the upstream promoter element that increases the affinity of RNA polymerase to promoter. 
Next component beta beta dash. Beta beta dash is the structure that they form the active site of the RNA polymerase. It resembles a crab claw like structure. It has two pincers. One large pincer is known as beta dash and the small one is known as beta. There are several channels in this beta beta dash structure. One is template entry channel where the DNA enters and the other one is template exit channel where DNA exit and the RNA exit channel. The last one is secondary channel. Through the secondary channel where the ribonucleotide enters into the active site. The beta beta dish structure consists of catalytic motif and it also contains bridge helix and trigger loop. These are the uh, structures required for the transcription of RNA polymerase on template. Comes to initiation factor. Initiation factor sigma is the important component of RNA polymerase. It is the only form that can initiate the transcription. It specifically recognizes and binds the core promoter and it can melt DNA at core promoter. Sigma have accessibility to core active site of enzyme. Sigma consists of mainly two families. One is Sigma 70 and other one is Sigma 54. Sigma 70 factors involved in the transcription of all housekeeping genes and the sigma 54 involved in the transcription during the stress condition. Then here we discussing about the sigma 70 structure. The sigma 70 consists of four domains and each domain has a conserved regions. Free sigma can bind with the core promoter. Only the initiation factor with the core enzyme forms the hollow enzyme. This hollow enzyme can bind with the DNA because there is a structure in sigma that can act as a auto inhibitory domain. The sigma 1.1 that is function as auto inhibitory domain. Sigma 1.1 means the first conserved region within the first domain and it is a DNA mimic that is sigma 1.1 act as a DNA mimic in the absence of core enzyme this sigma 1.1 occupy the DNA binding site on sigma which prevent their DNA binding so the free sigma can bind to the promoter or the DNA. If sigma 70 binds to the core enzyme, this uh, make a conformational changes in the uh, sigma. So the conform uh, due to the this conformation change, the whole enzyme can binds to the core promoter. Then discuss about the promoter element. Promoter element consists of start point, minus 35 element, minus 10 element and spacer. Start point is the site where first ribonucleotide added during transcription. Start point consists of 90% of conserved purine and the most consensus sequences it represents that C80 in 5 prime 3 prime direction. Then comes to the minus 35 element. Minus 35 element is an exama and it is located 35 base pair upstream from the transcription start site. It is the recognition domain where sigma factor first bind. The nucleotide sequences represent here is TTGACE. Then minus 10 element. It is otherwise known as 
Prypno box. It is also hexameric and it is the site where DNA unwinding occur. So it is also known as DNA unwinding element. It is a tree rich region. Therefore the unwinding easily occur. As the name indicate it is 10 base pair distance from center of hexama to the transcription start site. It represents the sequence TA, TA, AT. Then comes to the spacer. Spacer is located between the minus 10 element and the minus 35 element. The distance between minus 10 and minus 35 affect the transcription efficiency. This picture represents the promoter elements that is minus 35 elements and minus 10 element. The sigma factor that is initiation factor bind with the promoter element. Accurately the sigma 4.2 that is second conserved region within the fourth domain of sigma recognize and bind with the minus 35 element and the Sigma 2.4 that is the fourth conserved region in the second domain bind with the minus 10 element and when the sigma factor binds to this promoter element then the initiation of the transcription occur. The sequences in the minus 35 element and minus 10 elements are represented from that of the nucleated sequences of coding strand. What is optimal promoter? Optimal promoter is an ideal promoter in which maximum rate of transcription initiation occur. It has following features. Presence of a start point, minus 10 element and minus 35 element. Second one, the minus 10 element located 7 base pair upstream from transcription start site. And the distance between minus 10 and minus 35 element is 17 base pair. That is minus 35 element located 17 base pair upstream from that of minus 10 element. Then talk about transcription bubble formation. RNA synthesis takes place within the transcription bubble. Here DNA is transiently separated into its single strands and the template strand used to direct synthesis of RNA. Transcription bubble formation occurs with the help of the initiation factor sigma. Sigma recognize and bind with the minus 35 element and minus 10 element. The sigma 4.2 that means the second conserved region within the fourth domain of sigma recognize and bind with minus 10 and 35 element and the sigma 2.4 that is fourth conserved region within the second domain of sigma recognize and bind with minus 10 element. Due to this binding, a hydrophobic patches that is phenylalanine, tryptyrosine, tryptophan, tryptophan amino acid patches in 2.3, sigma 2.3 create a flip in the first adenine of the minus 10 element. Due to weaker hydrogen bonding and disruption of base pairs, DNA melt at this point. Torsion strain melt minus 10 element, it forms a transcription bubble. This transcription bubble spread towards start point. During transcription, the transcription bubbles also move towards. Then concluding this video, in this video we are discussing about the structure and components of RNA polymerase, structure of promoter, optimal promoter, finally transcription bubble formation. 
RNA polymer is consist of core enzyme and hollow enzyme. Core enzyme cannot bind with the promoter. Hollow enzyme can bind with the promoter, so it initiate the transcription. Hollow enzyme consist of the sigma factor. Sigma factor can recognize and bind with the promoter element. Promoter consist of a transcription start site. A minus 10 element, a minus 35 element, 35 element and in between there is a space. When sigma factor bind with the uh, promoter, a melting of the minus 10 element occur. It leads to the formation of transcription bubble. RNA synthesis takes place within the transcription bubble. As the RNA synthesis proceeds, the transcription bubble also moves towards the transcription unit. Hope this video useful to you. In next video, we will discuss about the stages in transcription. If you like this video, please share, subscribe and like. Like is Academy, your educational catalyst.